You're the GT champion. How do you feel? Uh, I'm quite sore already, but um, it's like to be back home over the hill in Aspen. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful day for a long run up high. Uh, the course was perfect. The aid stations were dialed. Everything was good. The legs felt okay for most of it. And um, just try to recover now for tomorrow's uh, bike race. Awesome. Were you trying to push it or were you just trying to like steady eddy your way through? What was your, what was your mindset going through the race? Well, when I was a cross country ski racer, I was a sprinter. So those races are between like two and a half and three minutes. And this is a six, six hour plus race. So I kind of only know like one mode a little bit and that transfers over to all my racing. So I probably should have let off the gas a little bit early on, um, but I felt good. And you know, it's kind of the, the only way I really know how to go out and race. So it paid off, um, you know, Richmond Ridge is, Mentally really, really hard. It was just such a grind for so long to get to the top of Aspen Mountain. Um, but it was, it was fun. It, it, it worked and uh, yeah, it was, it was great. Walk us through the race a little bit. When you started, were you off the front from the beginning? No, no. <clears throat> um, you know, we had, I think like a group of five of us kind of ran the first um, five or six miles together in the Brush Creek and uh, just having a good time with, you know, some other guys early in the morning and um, and then Sean and I kind of broke off the front when we turned onto the first, or when we turned on the canal, kind of the second single track section. Um, and we just, you know, just had a good time running together most of the way up East Brush Creek, um, almost to Friends Hut. And then my legs were feeling good on the climb, so I just kind of kept kept my tempo going a little bit. And uh, yeah, kind of ran from just, I guess, just before Friends Hut, um, kind of the rest of the way just solo. and. Um, so that's like just to mm, 23 miles of running by yourself through the mountains. Something like that. How? What goes through your mind during that time? How do you stay? How do you stay in it? Uh, it's tough. You know, you go through times when you're like feeling awesome and really confident, and then you kind of hit little low points when you're when you're looking behind your shoulder and wondering, you know, who's chasing you and how close they are. But um, you always just kind of have to revert back to like focusing on your own race and, and what you can be doing right in the present in that second and um, thinking about your strengths and just focusing on that. So it doesn't doesn't do any good to think about what other people are doing. You just like, just kind of narrow in on, on what you're doing right then. And um, that usually, well, just, usually uh, gets you out of that kind of mindset. So are you really thinking about the Charlie race the whole time? Or are you also thinking about like the bedroom you need to paint and the floors you need to put in? Or like the lawn you forgot to do? Like, is there some of that? Oh, yeah, man. Okay. There's also right like a few really bad songs kind of going through my head. Like, oh, I wish I had some music right now just to get those songs out of my head. Like, awesome. You know, it, it helps you. Welcome, helps you guys, for those just joining us for the 8th annual. Congratulations. We'll check in with you tomorrow and see how it goes. Thanks. Thanks.